five things that every Harley rider needs to know. So let's get started. Number five, transport mode. A lot of people will be going down to Daytona Bike Week and some people may not be riding, they may be trailering their motorcycle. Every year without fail, you'll see a bunch of trailers going down the street with their motorcycles, uh, hazard lights flashing because their Harley Davidson alarms are going off. So how do you put it in transport mode so you're not having the alarm go off the whole time that you're traveling going down the highway? It's real simple, let me show you. So what you wanna do is you wanna take the ignition switch and turn it from the off position to the ignition position. And before the alarm light goes off, you wanna turn it back to the ignition position. And then you wanna hold the left turn signal and the right turn signal, and that will put it in transport mode. So let's try it here. Turn it into ignition, turn it back off before that goes off, hold the left and the right, for, and it says receive transport mode. It says it right here. All right, so now it's in transport mode. So you can put it on the trailer and you, have, you shouldn't have the lights flashing going off as you're traveling down the road. So how do you get it out of transport mode? That's real simple. When you get to where you're going, you have to have a key fob with you and you just turn it to ignition. There it is, it's out, of, it's out of transport mode just by simply switching it to ignition and then you can turn it back off and everything is set back to normal. Okay, your Harley Davidson comes with a key fob but it can also start with a pin. But you may have bought the bike used and you don't know what the pin number is. So let me show you how you can find the pin number on your Harley Davidson motorcycle. First, you wanna make sure that the run switch is in the off position. Secondly, you wanna turn your ignition switch on. Cycle your run switch. Run, off, run, off, run. Hit the left turn signal twice. You'll see it says enter pin there. Now what you want to do to figure out what your pin is, hit the right turn signal once. And you'll see mine here. My five digit pin comes up, two, 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 two. And of course I'm going to change that after this video, but I'm just showing you for this video. So you'll see the five digit pin there. So if it's something that you can't remember and you haven't wrote it down in your book, you can change your pin code by cycling through the left turn signal and the right turn signal to change your pin code. For example, if you want to make the first digit go up, if I want to change the first digit to a three, I would press the left turn signal once and it goes up to a three. If I want it to be a four, I'd press it again and it goes to a four. And you can keep cycling through all the way to nine to get the number that you want. But I'm gonna leave it as at two. And if you want to change the second digit, you press over one time and the second digit is flashing now and you want to press this button again to cycle through the number that you want it to be and to lock it on that number, you press the right button. After you go through all five digits and you have the pin code that you want, you just simply turn off the run switch and it stores the pin code in. So the next time that you forget your key fob or you lose your key fob, you can start your motorcycle. So now that you know your pin code, let me show you how to start the motorcycle without your key fob. Okay, so this is a good thing to learn because sooner or later this, this could happen to you. You may have been out somewhere and the key fob falls out of your pocket and you're out on a long ride away from home. Or you might be at home and you washed your bike and got it shined up and head off to the gas station just to realize that you left the key fob on the workbench right beside you. So how do you start your bike without the key fob? This is how you do it. The key fob is not in my pocket. It's on the other side of the garage. So what you want to do is turn the ignition switch on and you see it does nothing except the security lamp flashes it. So you enter the pin right here. Go to the next digit and then the next digit. Remember mine is set to all twos and it, I'm changing it right after this. So. Now the bike can start, but it only starts one time. After you turn it off again without the key fob, you still have to go through the same thing again in order for the bike to run. So that's tip number three, how to start your bike without a key fob. All right, so this one I can't demonstrate. It's the tip over. If your motorcycle tips over on accident, it will show up tip on the odometer screen. If it tips over, 
your four-way flashers should be flashing. What you want to do is lift your motorcycle back up, of course, put it on the kickstand again. In order to start it again, you want to turn the ignition switch to off, back to ignition, and turn off your four-way flashers, and the motorcycle should start again. And finally, number one, if you have a smartphone and your bike does not have navigation, then you want to use the Harley-Davidson app. Just go to the App Store and get the Harley-Davidson app. It's real simple to put in your destination. At the click of a button, you can find all the Harley-Davidson dealerships that's in your area. There's several things that you can do with Harley-Davidson app. So if you don't have that app, I suggest you download it. Okay, so that was five things that every Harley-Davidson rider needs to know. I'd love to hear where you're from. Put that in the comments below. And again, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And have a blessed day.